Hi guys, thanks for joining me today as I make crock pot beef and broccoli. This is a great meal to put on in the mornings when you're heading out to work. When you come in in the evenings, it will be all ready for you. All you have to do is make the rice. Here are the ingredients we'll need. You can refer back to this at the end or visit my blog for a printable recipe that you can take to the grocery store for your ingredients. Let's get started. I like to season my meat with salt and pepper. I really prefer to add the stir fry meat. Um, use sirloin if you, if you can't find stir fry meat, but the stir fry meat is usually like a flank steak um, or a skirt steak and they tend to hold together a little bit better. Season the meat, add them to the crock pot, and then mix your sauce ingredients. One cup of beef broth, a half a cup of soy sauce, a half a cup of brown sugar packed, two teaspoons of sesame oil, three cloves of minced garlic, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two to three tablespoons of fresh ginger minced. Mix all of your sauce together and pour it over the beef in the crock pot. Mix it around so that all the meat uh, is covered. Add a little sriracha chili sauce if you like a little bit more bite to this dish. One teaspoon is fine for my family. Um, some families tell me that they like double this. That's a little hot for my kids. So go according to the taste of your family. Add in your heartier vegetables that can stand up to longer cooking, like your sliced onions, your baby carrots, which you can put in whole. If you're doing it on high, this dish will only take about four hours. On low, it took, mm, I would say six to seven. When it's almost ready, when you come in, add your drained water chestnuts and a bag of pre-cut broccoli. This makes your prep really fast. I also added in a slurry of um, cornstarch and water to help thicken our sauce. Then put the top on it and put it on high for another 30 minutes so that the sauce can thicken. Serve your crock pot beef and broccoli over hot steamed rice with a little sliced green onions for garnish, maybe a little extra pepper. My family loves this in the evenings. It's very fast and easy in the mornings. Um, you can really customize it with your favorite vegetables and it's a great time saver for busy family. I hope you'll enjoy this recipe and I hope you'll come back to listen to more recipes. Thanks for listening.